Okay, I guess we'll start by showing this. This is our completed interval pair sorted. We're going to play ramp ups only. No, chords only. That's chords only. Then the ramp up versions. Then the ramp down versions. Then what we call arc down. Okay, we're sewing too many things. There. You can hear the difference. Then we're going to go to trough down. Then it gets even more subtle doing that. Then we're going to do trough up. And then arc up. Alrighty then. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 62 New. In today's episode, we re-entered the question, what is community cropped up for us? We completed a book on the concept of ident identity, participated in conversations regarding building communities. And our, uh, our working definition is community is where you live. Um, to build a community is to imagine what might be possible and to attract and create what you want. This relates to music and the discussion of overlaps of interest and practice, which we've been having recently. For example, this stream uses a computer, this stream composes music, it performs music, and it explores and surprises. Now, that might be a low, medium, high area of interest for anybody watching. It might be a low, medium, high area of practice. I mean, they might watch it, but they don't compose, uh, or they might compose, but they don't perform, or they might perform, but they don't compose, like that. Uh, and the, the genre may be completely different. They may be into hip hop or um, jazz, and we're doing, you know, surprise. And then there's kind of a third column. Are we able to work together? Even if, even if we had high common areas of interest, high common areas of practice, are we able to work together temperamentally, temperamentally or for whatever reason? And all of those are kind of factors that go into attracting and creating a community that you want to, to live in. So if communities are not just physical where you live, like a house or a neighborhood or a city or a country. They're also mental communities of like-minded people. So that was a lot of reflection going on there outside of this stream, yet still relevant to the stream, especially because we share this music weekly at open mic and sometimes more often than that. Uh, another key thing that was completed is our uh, animation of Improvisation 1. This is our final version with that little expanding and contracting uh, cogwheel figure in the middle. It kind of begins like this. thing I want to point out is how much the colors vary. We're getting reds, purples, teals, uh, uh, then the whole thing turns bright red and orange based on volume or very uh, lots of subtle blues on the low volume and we did render a uh, an anime, uh, recording of it and, and we like it and we're, we're ready to post and share that. So that got done. And then, as we mentioned in the introduction, we completed Improvisation 3, which was getting all possible interval, interval pairs uh, generated. And we also sorted them from lowest to highest consonants. Here they are. One ones have an average consonants of 1. These have an average consonants of 1.7. These are mid-range. These are higher consonants here. 
and then the good old uh, tr traditional uh, three fours and five fives are 2.7. So then, so then, then we have started improvisation four, which is an attempt to kind of well, basically we're cherry picking from the left hand side. We're cherry picking from this uh, and looking for um, interesting cadences to play. So if we just play the cadences here, you'll hear this, a very simple thing that we've done many times. La, 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 la. That's it. And they're all tonic chords. And there's only two of them. There's C1-5 and G-flat-1-5. That's it. What could you do with it? And this is the whole reason we went in and took all that time generating Improvisation 3 over here, because we have a potpourri of chord figures. And for now, we're picking the simplest. We're going run-ups, run-downs, arc up, trough up, trough down, which sounds like this. So together, we get And we could argue there's a melody in there, C, G flat, C. Dum, 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 dum. However that went. Let's solo that again. And we could even emphasize it. So this is what we'll be doing next, just to just to show you, because we don't have a whole lot. We, we just got started on this, but if we emphasize the first note of each arpeggio, that becomes a new way to, to orally emphasize melodies. There's an easier way to do this. We'll just finish it up. So then we'd hear this melody. And then if we wanted to soften, soften this part, so it's just the barest background, and then, and then play the whole thing, we get... And yet the interesting thing is that's very strident. It's very powerful. It's also completely tonic, and it would be considered a statens in this scale that we're working in. So that completes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to keep working with Improvisation 4 and add more of these trial cadences, as we called them. Um, also to post and share the animation, this one here that we just showed you, uh, shout outs to Mr. Spatz, who came back, and Miss Cleo, who kept us inspired. So uh, tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.